Good afternoon, everyone. My name is Sheila Villarreal. I am a student at the University of Mayor of Zanzibar. Today, I am going to tell a history about a movie that captivated me, and it is uh, based on a real event. Okay, uh, we are going to start. The movie is called Impossible. This history begins when a family makes a trip to Calum, located in Asia, where they stay in a hotel. The place seems very touristy, with a beautiful sea. The first day, they settle down and rest a bit. The second day is Christmas, and they are all happy on the beach, playing with the ball. I'm already on the third day, the catastrophic happened. The family of which we speak is stranded by a tsunami that devastated everything. The whole family is separate. The mother and the eldest son Lucas meet while everything is shattered and they try to seek help. The mother is too hard and it is difficult for her to walk. So they climb a tree and see someone with the shoes of help manage to capture his attention and help the mother by taking him to the nearest hospital where there are many injured people and few doctors. The mother asked her son to help other people in some way. So the child has the idea that the family is in the game, but writing down the names of some and shooting in the corridors in case someone was there. The strategy worked because he managed to meet some people with their relatives. When carrying out this activity, he saw his father walking on down the hall, so he ran to look for him in the midst of so many people. Not finding him, he felt frustrated by what he yells. Father, and at that moment, everyone listened. His little brothers and his father, who he was looking for so much appear, they had hatched an air meet with their mother, who is transported on a plane to the place where they live. Well, I wanted to tell you this story because it is very moving. This story is based on real events where many people lose their relatives but didn't lose hope of finding them. That is why the film is called The Impossible. Since in the middle of the disasters, it is almost impossible to meet your family members again, but the case of the family was different, which teaches us not to lose hope and have faith that everything will be fine.